Tensions are rising along Israel's northern front with Lebanon. A rocket barrage fired from Lebanon into northern Israel has wounded a number of people and a female Israeli soldier is reported dead. Israel has responded with a series of airstrikes inside Lebanon where four people were reported killed there as well. Now this is the latest reminder of the risk of the war in Gaza spreading to a second front. Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon have been exchanging fire almost daily throughout this war. Now Lebanon didn't claim responsibility for this latest rocket barrage, but it has said that it will continue to launch strikes on Israel until there's a ceasefire in Gaza. Yeah. Those ceasefire ep efforts appear to have taken a step backwards. This week, top negotiators from Israel, Qatar, Egypt, and the U.S. were gathered in Cairo in a sign of what looked like progress. Well, today, Israel says it has withdrawn its negotiating team, and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is accusing Hamas of negotiating in bad faith. He says there will not be any breakthroughs or any changes until Hamas softens its positions. In the meantime, the fighting continues in Gaza. The Israeli offensive continues to press forward. Israel has ordered the evacuation of a hospital, the main hospital in the southern town of Khan Yunis. This has been a focus of the Israeli offensive in recent weeks. This evacuation is the latest reminder of the fragile state of Gaza's hospital system. Roughly half of the hospitals have closed, the others have severely limited operations. It's also a reminder of the dwindling number of places where Gazans can go to seek shelter.